In the folklore of indigenous communities around the world, legends of an ancient race of giants have been passed on for centuries. These enormous beings are spoken of in great detail throughout the myths of Europe, Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Yet no myth seemed as true as that passed on by the Paiutes and their struggle against an ancient race of giants they called the Sitika. But just who were these malevolent red-haired beings who went to war with the native Paiutes, and could it really be proof that giants once existed in North America? Let's find out. Native American Legends Almost all the Native American groups have folklore centered on giants. While some giants are described as passive and simple beings who lived in the territory surrounding the natives, others are portrayed as advanced cultures who built extensive cities. However, there is the occasional story of vicious and warlike giants who tried to annihilate the Native Americans on several occasions. The Choctaw, a tribe now living in Tennessee, speak of a legend passed on to them by their ancestors centered on a race of giants they called the Nahulo. The word Nahulo later came to mean white people, but its original meaning referred to a group of cannibalistic white giants. In Choctaw legends, they claim when their ancestors first migrated to the original home in Mississippi, the giant race already inhabited parts of the state and were extremely hostile towards the Choctaw. The conflict between the Choctaw and the Nahulu ultimately led to numerous wars. The Comanches and other Native American people who now live in the state of Oklahoma also speak of a race of white giants that once thrived in North America. Rolling Thunder, a former chief of the Comanche, claims he had heard legends of a race of civilized giants that once lived in North America. During an interview in 1857, the chief said, Innumerable moons ago, a race of white men, 10 feet high and far more rich and powerful than any white people now living here, inhabited a large range of country, extending from the rise to the settling sun. Their fortifications crowned the summits of the mountains, protecting their populous cities situated in the intervening valleys. The mention of giants of a similar nature throughout Native American folklore forces one to consider the possibility that a race of large beings may have, in fact, once existed in North America. While the legends of the Choctaw and Comanches are rather compelling, one tribe's story may is actually backed up by archaeological evidence. This is the story told by the Paiutes and the Giants of Lovelock Cave. The Giants of Lovelock Cave The Paiutes once lived all across Nevada. They shared a legend from this era with early settlers of their state. A long time ago, a group of red-haired giants, who they referred to as the Sitika, were at war with their ancestors. The Paiutes claimed that these giants ranged in height from 7 to over 10 feet tall and were especially vicious and cannibalistic. The Paiutes speak of a great battle between them and the giants, which resulted in the extermination of the red-haired cannibals at a site now known as Lovelock Cave. Legend has it that the Paiutes trapped the remainder of the vicious giants in the cave and proceeded to block the entrance before setting the entire cave on fire. Evidence of Lovelock Caves Excavations that took place at Lovelock Cave in the 20th century prove some legitimacy to the claims made by the Paiutes. During an investigation in the cave, researchers noticed that the ceiling was severely burnt at some point in the distant past. This would suggest that the Paiutes' legends of a great fire were true. Archaeologists found thousands of artifacts inside the cave following further investigation, including flint arrowheads, stone axes, and a vast quantity of animal bones. These findings ultimately led to the suggestion that Lovelock Cave was a long-term inhabitant site for ancient group. According to rumors, 
the mummified bodies of two red-haired giants were found alongside the arrows and axes. But for all the evidence that may have existed during the 20th century, none is on show today, and the whereabouts of the human mummies remain a mystery to independent researchers. A reoccurring theme of missing or lost evidence seems to be prevalent in search for the remains of ancient giants. Unfortunately, many of the earlier discoveries of Lovelock Cave and other sites lacked authentic paperwork and the necessary documentation which we see in modern archaeology. Due to these factors, much of the evidence surrounding the Lovelock Cave, giants, has been labeled simple misinterpretations or even forgeries. However, despite the skepticism surrounding Lovelock Cave, a few archaeologists led some credibility to findings mentioned in the 20th century excavations. This continues to add a certain degree of speculation that a race of giants once did exist around Lovelock Cave. Now, while we may not have any concrete evidence on the whereabouts of the two previously mentioned red-haired mummies, we do have proof that an abnormal large species of humans did, in fact, live in Lovelock Cave. When searching for the remains of giants who once roamed the earth, the most compelling piece of evidence is skeletal remains such as skulls. Now, while the remains of giant skulls tend to bring a considerable level of interest from researchers, it also has the ability to bring forth skepticism from the hesitant counterparts. In some cases, we've seen enormous skulls debunked as nothing more than the bones of large animals. However, when a team of archaeologists discovered in Lovelock Cave forced academics to reconsider their opinion on giants, a team of archaeologists led by M. R. Harrington and Lolene Loden discovered several skulls far larger than the average human head. This was the first time researchers had credible evidence to suggest the legends of the Paiute were true. Yet some researchers have claimed that the skulls merely represent a few abnormal large individuals rather than a race of giants. Could these skulls be the remains of the C.T. Ka? who the Paiute claim met their demise in this cave well over a millennia ago? Smithsonian Cover-Up These discoveries made in the Lovelock Cave are a few of the of mentioned remains that have been discovered over the last few centuries. Due to the lack of interest from academic bodies and their hesitance to even consider the possibility that a race of giants once existed, Various independent researchers have begun to question whether academic circles have deliberately hidden or suppressed evidence of giants. The Smithsonian is the world's largest museum, education, and research complex, and for just under 200 years, they have written about various archaeological sites and excavations across America. In many of their 19th and 20th century newspaper articles, one can find hundreds of not thousands of reports on the discovery of giant skeletons throughout the various mounds in the central part of North America. During an annual report published by the Smithsonian in 1878, the remains of what seemed to be ancient giants were mentioned several times. According to the yearly record, Smithsonian scientists identified at least 17 skeletons that stood over seven feet tall. Another example would have stood at over eight feet tall with a skull that was 36 inches in circumference. To put that into perspective, the average human skull is approximately 20 inches in circumference, showing this skull was near twice the size of a modern human. Could reports such as this prove that there's enough physical evidence to suggest a race of giants once inhabited North America? Are these items hidden away in the storerooms and warehouses of certain archaeological institutions, such as the Smithsonian? Well, you may be asking yourself, why would archaeologists want to suppress information in their own field deliberately? One need only look at the Clovis hypothesis to answer this question. The Clovis first hypothesis once suggested that no humans inhabited North America until around 13,000 years ago 
during the final stages of the Ice Age. This issue was bitterly argued against for decades during the middle of the 20th century, and many archaeologists even lost their funding by simply protesting this idea. However, the Clovis hypothesis was finally debunked during the latter part of the 20th century. Now, archaeologists are well aware that people have lived on North American continent for tens of thousands of years, if not longer. For whatever reason, archaeologists tend to lack the confidence to rewrite history, even though this solo purpose of their field. So could this be the reason for the delay in accepting that a race of red-haired giants once lived in North America? Are they simply refusing to accept the theory until one brave researcher goes above and beyond to prove it? Only time will tell. What do you think about the possibility of a race of giants once inhabiting North America? Do the rumors of mummified giants or the proof of giant skulls provide you with enough evidence to believe that CTK of Paiute legends were a race of giants? Or are you on board with the idea that a few skulls could simply imply a small group of abnormal large humans? Let us know your opinion in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.